Based on a toy franchise with no story or defined characters, comes a feature-length commercial <laughs> full of celebrities, <laughs> cliches, and repetitive pop music. That's really sweet and heartfelt. Huh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> the Lego Movie. Enter a world of unlimited Lego play sets, where characters from Star Wars, DC, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and Kazam all join together <laughs> to save the world. But instead, you're stuck with this guy. <laughs> Meet Emmett, a clueless suck-up who lives in a city full of mindless drones, complete with its own version of Two and a Half Men. Where am I, and... <laughs> Watch him convince the world to follow instructions, work together, and sacrifice their personal goals for the greater good of stopping the evil president business. <laughs> Wait, is this movie going to turn my kid into a communist? <laughs> Laugh along at the mix of expert CGI and comically bad live action that covers up the horrific reality of what you're actually watching, like this cop killing his own parents, the destruction of an entire city full of people. <laughs> the brutal beheading of one of the film's heroes, <laughs> and the fact that this father and son have created a sentient universe in their basement that they can destroy at any time. And don't tell me in the comments that it's just make-believe, because that Lego dude totally moves on his own. <laughs> so strap in for this crowd pleaser that didn't even crack the Academy's top five animated films, losing out to things no one saw like Song of the Sea <laughs> and the tale of the tiny hand princess <laughs> but was so successful and beloved oh, your kids still can't stop singing the movie's hit song so get ready because yeah. we're about to get this one stuck in your head oh, again Everything's a product. <laughs> this is all a ploy to sell kids more and more <laughs> Chomper, Bad Cop Car Chase, The Flying Flusher, Bad Cop's Pursuit, Super Secret Police Dropship, Benny Spaceship Spaceship Spaceship, Super Cycle Chase, Castle Cavalry, Rescue Reinforcement, Cloud Cuckoo Palace, The Peace of Resistance, and Emmett's Constructomac. Also starring Metal Beard Sea Cow, Metal Beard's Duel, Creative Ambush, All Double Decker products. Couch, Melting Room, Getaway Glider, Lord Business's Evil Lair, Ice Cream Machine, and Where Are My Pants Guy Minifigure, <laughs> The Lego Commercial. Man, I kind of feel like buying some Legos right now. How about you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Jumping jacks, hit him. One. Two. <laughs> Three. I am so f***ed up. <laughs> you were found at the construction site and the strange beast. That's disgusting. And why is it permanently stuck to your <laughs> I know that guy, but I know like zippy zap about him. We just f***ed earlier. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, okay? You just... And to think I was going to f*** you. You were? Okay, have bad cop f*** me in my office in... 23 seconds. We'll Sir, can you approve this poster for Taco Tuesday? Perfect. Woo! Everyone in this room. Okay, let me just f the wizard and get this over. <laughs> me upstairs in <laughs> ten seconds. <laughs> and not everybody can f on my one couch. Introducing the double f couch, <laughs> so everyone can f together and be buddies. I just need to give the secret. F <laughs> <laughs> Any f is a good. F except the not happy ones. We have oh learned my God. that Lord Business plans to unleash a fully weaponized craggle on Taco Tuesday to end the world as we know it. Please, <laughs> yourself. Yes, it's true. I may not be a master builder. I may not have a lot of experience. 
fucking. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> he is the least qualified person <laughs> in the world to. <laughs> and you are right. To the Batmobile. <laughs> to the invisible jet. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry, Superman. I'll get you out no, of there. Don't. Ah! Oh my gosh, my is <laughs> stuck. What the f is that? It's a double f***er <laughs> What's the last thing Lord Business expects master builders will do? Build a spaceship? Kill a chicken? F*** a marshmallow. <laughs> Ask them if you could f*** them on their party Babe, look, if this relationship is ever going to work between us, I need to feel free to f*** a bunch of strangers whenever I feel like it. <laughs> what? I will text what? you. Who are you here to see? <laughs> I'm here to f*** your butt. <laughs> oh my gosh! Step four, <laughs> Benny and Metalbeard their way into the master control room. Motion sensors triggered in sector 12. 10-4. Today will not be known as Taco Tuesday. It will be known as Friday. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, don't me. Don't me. Do not me. Please. If you do one Please. more thing, I'm going to unleash my What is that? <laughs> is it super small? I don't see anything. I want you to take it. You want me to get off? I want you to <laughs> me. <laughs> so you have a movie idea for me. Yes, sir, I kind of do. Kind of? Kind well, I was of. pitching a commercial to the people at Lego and they were like, this is kind of long. So I was like, maybe it could be a movie. So your movie idea is just a really long commercial for Lego? Right, we make an extended commercial and call that a movie. It'd be super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love product placements, but usually we try to be a little subtle about it. Well, I figured maybe if the entire movie is one big product placement, then maybe people will forget that we're trying to sell them toys. Oh, that's kind of evil. Oh, uh, maybe, but if it works, we're gonna make a ton of money. Oh, making money is tight. Hail Satan. What? Oh, you're kind of freaking me out, you freaky boy. So what happens in the movie? Well, we're gonna follow Emmett, the main Lego product. Don't you mean character? No. So anyway, there's a prophecy that says that Emmett is the special, kind of like a chosen one. Sounds kind of like the plot of The Matrix. Oh, no, this is nothing like The Matrix. It's not? No, it's just about a plain loner guy that meets an edgy, badass-looking girl, and she tells him about a prophecy of a chosen one, then he finds out that his world isn't what he thought it was, and his whole perception of reality is shattered. And then there's this wise trainer guy that's super into the chosen one prophecy, and they go inside the main guy's head for training. There's also a ruthless law enforcement type with sunglasses that's after him. There's sentinels that attack everyone, and the main guy is gonna seemingly die, but then come back to life with the ability to see reality in a whole new way, and basically has superpowers now. That sounds a lot like the plot of The Matrix. No, see, Batman is in this. Oh, Batman is in this. Okay, Batman's not in the Matrix. <laughs> right. So what else happens in the commercial? Well, Emmett is gonna stumble upon oh, this man. thing called the Peace of Resistance, and that's gonna give him, like, a magical vision. Oh, very cool. But then later, we're gonna find out that the entire prophecy was made up by this Lego product, Vitruvius. So how did the Peace give him a vision? I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, at the end of the commercial, we're gonna find out that the whole thing was kind of playing out in the imagination of a child. Oh, so things don't actually have to make sense. Exactly. A little screenwriting gift I gave to myself. Very smart. <laughs> yeah, so basically the whole movie, the main Lego product's gonna jump from crazy place to crazy place and meet a whole bunch of other Lego products. So is there anything else I should know about the story? Not really. Everything's gonna move so fast and have so many joke attempts that the audience won't be able to focus on anything. Oh, it's like ADD the movie. Yeah, it's gonna be like flipping through a Lego catalog while an action movie plays in the background and someone shines a strobe light in your eyes. I love it. And then you get to the end of the catalog and Will Ferrell walks in and you're like, I guess this was nice. So you said this is all kind of happening in a kid's imagination? Yeah, it's gonna be a big twist. Emmett's gonna end up in the real world where it turns out this kid was playing with his dad's Lego products the whole time. Okay. And Emmett's gonna start moving around to get the kid's attention. In the real world? Yeah. <laughs> so it's not all in the kid's imagination? I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, the dad's gonna get mad because his kid did a bunch of weird stuff with his Lego products. Oh, doing weird stuff with Lego products is tight. But then he's gonna <laughs> bond with him because he did a bunch of weird stuff with his Lego products. Oh, did the kid do something to change his mind? No, but there was like a battle in Lego world or something. I'm very confused about how the real world stuff works. <laughs> Me too, but if you don't think about it at all, it has kind of a nice heartfelt message. What's the message? Uh, that you shouldn't follow instructions? Don't the Lego products we're trying to sell come with instructions? <laughs> right, but kids should disregard those, I guess. Okay. <laughs> but also sometimes it's good to follow the rules. What? And also everyone is special. <laughs> kind of a lot of messages going on here. And people should avoid getting brainwashed by mass media and corporations. I'm not sure we're in the best position to be preaching about that. Well, we're gonna <laughs> preach about that. Well, all right then. So what do you
do you think? Well, I still think it's going to be tough to trick people into coming to watch a feature-length commercial, you know? I guess. I mean, people always skip commercials on TV and YouTube pre-roll ads. Yeah, I guess we are asking <laughs> them to pay to come watch a really long one. But I suppose we can give it a shot and see if it works. Great. And oh man, if people fall for this, we're going to make a ton of commercials. Cha ching <laughs> A ton of commercials, yeah, man. I like the Lego movie. It was actually a really big surprise for me. I didn't know what to expect coming into it. Uh, I knew it was a comedy, you know, you know it's animation or the CGI, whatever the case. But they did it in a really, really fun way. And I really enjoyed it. The second one is fun, but I feel like the first one's better, in my opinion. But we'll get to that later. If I had to choose between these three videos, though, the unnecessary censorship killed me. It absolutely killed me. And a lot of times you know what the word probably is, but the character voices just make it so much funnier in the context of what they're trying to do. It's just, it's it's hilarious. So, Oz trailer is, it comes in last. It was good, but it comes in last. The, the little rap battle that they have in there was pretty cool. The guys from Epic Rap Battles of History, uh, it was cool seeing them in there. I gotta do more of those, because I've only done one so far. But that was, it was, it was funny. It was good, I like how they did that. Pitch meeting, obviously, is always great. I just love how he goes about it. They were very similar, the pitch meeting Honest trailer, talking about how this movie is really just a long commercial. But the unnecessary censorship, uh, I don't know, it's just... Unnecessary censorship is just hilarious. <laughs> it was really funny, so that's my pick. If I had to choose one, I would pick unnecessary censorship because it was just, it's, it was just hilarious. Let me know in the comments below which one you pick in this versus, which one was better in your opinion. Let me know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, if you wanna see more, check out some of our most popular videos on the channel. You can also check out our most recent reaction right over there. If you've seen all of that, as always, then I'll see you guys in the comments. We can talk about this one.